Hi, Glenn. And we are getting fascinating information from a man who is analyzing satellite imagery on what was known and when it was known. We're going to hear from him in just moments. But first, I want to give you a look at what's happening here and, and some perspective. Uh, this is right near the River Jetty, River Jetty in Huntington Beach. And we've seen crews out here from up north that are down. And if you look at the water, you could see the oil slick uh, when I was here on Sunday as the oil was just pouring in. Now it is looking much cleaner. There is still a slick, still a ways to go, but they're using these absorbent pads and some booms to try to get a hold on this as we have seen the response, uh, which they resumed after a brief pause during that wild weather yesterday. Also right now, the County of Orange supervisors are meeting and declaring a state of emergency to aid in the cleanup effort. We do need more resources. I was able to uh, visit Ariel over the coastline last night and you know that looks like they just have one boat doing skimming off of Laguna Beach kind of heading towards Dana Point. However, there are pockets of I would say threads of oil that are just sitting out there and so more resources, more skimmers, more boats are needed. There are some major questions this morning as we're learning a criminal investigation has been launched into why Amplify Energy, who owned the platform connected to the broken pipeline, took so long to alert authorities there was a serious problem. Why didn't they notice a pressure drop in the system? And then Friday night at 6 p.m., someone on a ship had called a hotline to report an oily sheen. Another call came in from a concerned observer who noticed the oil in satellite imagery. It wasn't, though, until Saturday morning, more than 12 hours later, that elected leaders heard of this massive spill. Amplifies Energy's, uh, Amplify Energy CEO says it's a distinct possibility a ship anchor caused this. The Orange County DA says Amplify's divers should not be the ones investigating. The LA Times reporting a source said a cargo ship's anchor dragged the pipeline 150 feet. The question's been raised. Are these boats allowed to anchor in sensitive areas? And if they are, why? This is a case of a domino effect because for months we've been telling you the backlog of ships waiting to get into the port. They have technology to avoid underwater hazards. We know that. But a ship captain yesterday told us there's been high winds this year and strong currents, and maybe the anchor could have dragged a bit as a result. We want to be clear the cause is not known, but as this is a working theory, this is a response from our experts. In moments from now, you're going to hear from John Amos. He worked for Big Oil until he saw the impact on the community. Now he's president of Sky Truth, which uses satellite imagery to identify and respond to oil disasters. Listen to his take on this. And we found digital data showing where the pipelines are in the seafloor uh, in this area. And we superimposed that on the image, the satellite image, and showed that the pipeline ran very close to where we saw this oil slick Friday evening. But well, we also noticed something interesting. Uh, many large vessels, cargo ships and tankers, uh, parked in this uh, anchorage area uh, outside of the port of Long Beach. And some of these cargo ships were also very close to the, the route of the pipeline. Uh, and so I'm concerned that it's a, it was a possibility that uh, an, an anchor strike from one of these vessels uh, in this anchorage area could have caused damage to the pipeline. And uh, that has caused major oil spills in other places around the world. John also mentioned just how many thousands of miles of pipeline are on the seafloor, some of them neglected. So we'll hear that part of the story coming up in the next hour. Uh, also, we'll tell you about Rep. Mike Levin, who serves the 49th District, which is in San Diego. He is asking or demanding that offshore oil drilling be banned. More on his news conference happening right now at 12. I'll send it back to you.